In an era of great all-rounders, he was perhaps the greatest. He was a charismatic and inspiring leader. He is a tireless worker for charity and a champion of the poor and underprivileged. The Lion of Pakistan, Imran Khan, is one of ESPN's legends of cricket. greatest triumph, an improbable victory in the 1992 World Cup. When Imran was captain, there was never any question of anyone else being in charge. And I think that, probably more than anything, is what won them that World Cup uh, down in Australia. And more than anything, it's, it's the thing that uh, has put him on a bit of a pedestal in terms of Pakistan cricket. I mean, Imran Khan is right up there, considered to be um, the number one man um, in Pakistan cricket. He was the only one who always would tell us in the team meeting that we are going to win it. He was there always encouraging us, even when we were losing, even when somebody was winning. You know, to keep that, uh, that spirit going through when you're losing is important. I think he led simply outstandingly well in that uh, World Cup. He had a presence that managed to make Pakistan into world beaters. And that can that is the greatest thing that he ever achieved was unity in the team that he captained. Danny Morrison round the wicket, digs it in short, and Emblem's hammered him again. As a bowler, Imran had genuine pace and could move the old and new ball in the air. That's got to be close. He didn't offer a shot and Barnes is out. Very highly talented, very skilled with the ball and also very able with the bat. So a great all-rounder, one of the best of that time. And in test cricket, he was, he was a difficult opponent because he could bowl really quickly, very aggressively and, uh, and make some runs uh, at the, at, down the order as well. I thought he was uh, an exceptional bowler. Uh, he was the first one who introduced reverse swing and uh, genuine pace. If you had a pace meter on Imran Khan, he would have been up around about 87, 88 miles an hour, which for a fellow with a, an action of economy, it was, uh, was quite good. It's gone. Very positive, very aggressive. Uh, he hated, hated to lose against any side. He wanted his team to perform like him, to behave like him, and that was to believe in the ability and believe that they can win against any side. So he was really, really tough on himself and on his team, and that's why Pakistan team has performed so well under him. Imran was a stylish, hard-hitting batsman with a sound, orthodox technique. Oh, pulled it away, beautiful shots. Imran Khan, I think, towards the end of his career, realized that his pace was going down as a bowler and he had to contribute more as a batsman. And towards the end of his career, he became, I think, one of the better batsmen in the world, started batting at number three, number four. As a captain, Imran led his country with authority and vision. I think he was Pakistan's greatest captain, there's no doubt about it. His ability to motivate youngsters was quite amazing. He passed on the art, he was always talking to the likes of Wasim or Wakar. And uh, I think the attitude, when you see the aggressive attitude and positive attitude of the young Pakistani bowlers, uh, you've got to thank Imran Khan for that because you know he was instrumental there. He was always there, the first one to be there at the ground and last one to leave the ground. He was a hard working to the core and that's what made him such a successful captain. Imran Khan was, for me, the greatest ever Pakistan captain and he was the one who could uh, ask or issue instructions and know that they were going to be obeyed. Uh, he's the only one I've known over the years who could do that. A wonderful cricketer as well. 
Cameron. Drive, that's down the ground. That's knocked away by Cameron. They're going through the single. That's 100 for Imran. Well played. A superb captain's knock.